What's the latest on SK that we can talk about? Um, look, uh, it's not drill season yet. Okay, uh -huh. we're uh, we're approaching drill season probably about mid June. So really, the discussion here should be about what the plans are for this year. What you know, we can touch on what was hit last year in the the holes we had eight, uh, twenty holes that were drilled, and eighteen of those hit significant mineralized intercepts, including some very high grades. Uh, but now we're going back and we're going to follow up on on the drilling at uh, TV Jeff. Those are the two areas that we tested last year. But what's even better is we have a large number of targets that we've developed since then. We've got some uh, what we call BLEG data back. This is stream sediment data that shows there are numerous other targets across this property. Property's uh, a little over 500 square kilometers. So it's a big piece of ground. And we clearly have multiple targets. We're doing SkyTem, which is a, basically an airborne electrical, uh, you know, um, study of the rock in the subsurface. It's what we use what what's called EM. Uh, EM simply stands for electromagnetic. It's electromagnetic magnetic, uh, um, uh, detection of of rock in the ground. In particular, it differentiates conductive rocks from resistive rocks, electrically conductive versus electrically resistive. And uh, this allows us to differentiate targets very easily. Like we can start to see uh, discrete drill targets with this. So between the, the stream data, the plague data, and this uh, airborne EM, we're gonna have a whole host of new targets to test. And when can we expect from SK some of the results for all these targets? What's the catalyst going forward that investors should keep in mind uh, in terms of timelines for SK mining. Okay, let's talk about the timeline. So this is May, it's melt season basically. It's a little early to start drilling, but we are making preparations. We've got uh, contracts lined up for four rigs to come to site. So uh, drill, drilling will start in earnest approximately mid-June, uh, weather dependent. In the meantime, what we're doing is the SkyTem survey. It started a couple of weeks ago, it does. This is a big survey. We're going to cover the entire land package. Uh, it's going to take about another three or no, two and a half weeks, I believe, to complete. So we should get that data sometime in early June, at which time we'll evaluate it. We'll, we'll likely uh, talk about the targets that are generated from that, just like we did the previous SkyTem survey. We did a, a test area last year in the core of the, the tenement block, uh, and it it absolutely slam dunk showed discrete targets. That's how we got into TV Jeff. We saw those targets and based on the sky Tim data and some, some field follow up thereof, we were able to get into TV Jeff and drill straight away. So we plan to do that again this year. Would that be, uh, how, how, from when you actually do the drilling and complete a specific hole and then submit it to a lab, is that a three month process uh, before you get the results back from the lab? What sort of a time timeline that it's investors should should yeah. be aware of? Uh, you know, fortunately, drilling this type of system, the mineralization is quite visible. We will be able to talk some about what we're seeing in in the drilling in the drill holes as time goes on. But actually, getting assays out, yeah, the timeline is probably in order of three or four months is my best guess. But the the situation last year with COVID and the, the ability for labs to turn around samples was, was uh, well, seriously undermined. Um, and it took forever to get assays. You know, look at uh, look at our situation. We finished in mid-October, I think, the drilling. And it took until, I think it was early September, or sorry, early February, before we got our final assays for the last batch of holes. So, you know, what is it? That's about five five months, I believe. I hope it's not so bad this year. Uh, but, um, you know, there's a lot of people working there. The game is on, the bull is on. So a lot of companies have money. A lot of drills are going to be operating this year. And hopefully the labs are prepared to keep up this time. Understood. Well, thank you very much for the update on SK. We appreciate it. Anytime.